सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुली and our ancestors have been writing in some form of script for almost 5500 years proto writing systems basically had symbols and mnemonics and codes to indicate something whereas actual writing had alphabet and fully comprehensible sentences with grammar so writing full sentences with alphabet and grammar is relatively new when compared to the 10000 years of human evolution where we've been using symbols and codes we start seeing examples of poetry and text on stone and clay tablets around 1800 bce but the first actual writing was recorded at the end of the 4th millennium bce in uruk in sumer which is modern day iraq Now archaeologists have discovered what is the very first grammatically complete sentence with the earliest alphabet that we are known to have used. This is from Israel and believe it or not it tells people to get rid of head lies. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. The inscription we're talking about today was found on a lice comb and it says may this tusk root out the lice of the hair and the beard. It is seemingly a luxury item and the sentence is the oldest known complete sentence written in the oldest known alphabet in Canaanite. Canaanite languages are a group of languages that was spoken by the Canaanite people who belonged in the modern day region of Israel. These languages were spoken through history and Hebrew today is the only known Canaanite language currently in use. Canaanite languages were used by Jewish people up to the Middle Ages during which time Hebrew was revived and became the modern Hebrew that is in use today. Now this comb that we are discussing today was found in Tel Lachish, a Canaanite city from the kingdom of Judah in the 2nd millennium BCE. And this object date back to about 1700 BCE. The comb itself was discovered in June July of 2016 as a part of an archaeological dig and it is tiny, just about the size of one small finger. After discovery it had been sitting inside in inventory because no one had examined it in great detail and it had been covered with so much dirt and dust that it had just been tossed into a bag of assorted items and bones. The site where it was discovered in Israel in 2016 is an important one and archaeologists have dug up thousands of objects from this area from Lachish especially in this dig which went on from 2013 to 2017 in archaeological digs as objects get excavated they are put in inventory and then they are examined and cataloged day by day at a later time because there are thousands of everyday objects and interesting objects that are discovered thus this comb was also sitting inside The comb itself is made of elephant ivory and is 3.66 cm wide and 2.51 cm high. So really quite small, smaller than the size of an average thumb. The comb has teeth on both sides and all of the teeth were already broken several millennia ago. The central part of the comb is also eroded from touch. The side of the comb that had six widely spaced teeth was used for detangling whereas the other side with 14 closely spaced teeth was used for removing lice and their eggs. This comb sat in a shelf in storage since late 2016 but earlier this year parasitologist and archaeologist at the Hebrew University Madeline Mumshaglu decided to peek at the comb under the microscope because she was hunting for remnants of head lice. She decided to take pictures under the microscope and when she zoomed in on these pictures she discovered the inscription. Then many other experts examined it and weighed in and they validated and deciphered the writing. 
The writing itself is a fully comprehensible sentence written in a style that indicated that the grammar at the time was at the earliest stage of the alphabet's development. The sentence is made up of 17 letters and the authors of the paper that describe the finding have called it the most important object ever found in their excavations. And this is true, the object is quite significant. It is one of the most important objects ever unearthed because it indicates a turning point in history when humans started to use full complete script for writing. Furthermore, there are no elephants in this geographical region and there never were even through history. This meant that this comb was imported into this region. Four such combs were found in the dig and in this region entirely about 20 combs have been found across various times in history. What is even more interesting in this finding is that remnants of head lice were indeed found in the comb. When Mamshuklu examined the comb under the microscope, she found the remains of one head louse. This one was between 0.5 and 0.6 mm in size. Now, head lice themselves have been discovered in archaeology going back to 10,000 years ago, where head louse eggs were discovered in Brazil. In Israel, 9,000 year old head louse eggs were found on hair samples near a preserved individual by the Dead Sea. Roman combs from the area have also shown dead lice in samples. So this find is significant in that manner as well. But this comb raises a lot of questions. Clearly, it was imported because elephant ivory is not native to the Levant region and the inscription says tusk. So it was made of elephant tusk. This much has been determined scientifically and by molecular analysis as well. But where is the comb originally from and where was it made? Who inscribed it? Was it the exporter or the importer or the purchaser or the user of the comb? The inscription itself is not uniform. The top row goes from large to small letters as if the person who engraved started large and then realized there's no space so started to shrink the letters. And then they ran out of space at the end of that line so they flipped the comb over 180 degrees and then continued the sentence. It is written right to left and the second row is written left to right. And as the inscriber reached the end of the second row, there still wasn't enough space for the last letter. So this last letter is actually written below the last letter in the second row. This is understandable considering the comb is so small, it is smaller than our thumbs. But it also means that this person was likely not a professional. The other comb that was discovered along with this was uninscribed and was also used for removing head lice. This was made of bone and not tusk and it had some unidentified reddish pigment on it. So who inscribed this comb? Experts were not able to precisely date it because of its poor preservation of carbon. Analysis of the kind of script used shows that it was made by Canaanites who were familiar with Egyptian and Sumerian forms of script. What is more, this is the first presence of the word for the collective form of Laos, lice. This instance is the first time the word lice is in fact documented in this particular region. But the sentence is fully grammatically correct. The sentence follows the verb, subject, object order that is typical of languages from this region. This is the very first time that we have a fully verbal sentence written in a dialect spoken by Canaanite inhabitants of the famous city of Lachish and it is a grammatically correct complete sentence. This also sheds some light into the daily life of the ancient people here and it shows that head lice were a menace to society even back then. This was also the first time an object was inscribed with the purpose of its use rather than a random piece of poetry that is found on chronologically later objects. Thus, this is an extremely significant finding that is going to be used as a benchmark for archaeological discoveries. It also acts as a milestone in the history of language development and use.